Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Tyler here. Today I want to introduce you the art in the water town, Suzhou, by showing you some silk scarves and handwork embroideries. Please check out the timestamps in the description if you want to fast forward. Suzhou enjoys the reputation of paradise on earth with Hangzhou for thousands of years in China. Marco Polo praised Suzhou as the Oriental Venice in his biography. The name Suzhou is just like Scotland or England. Su is the shorter form of the name of the local area and the people, and Zhou is the Chinese character of land. Suzhou is a must-go place when you travel to China. It is just a one and a half hours drive from Shanghai to Suzhou. It has so many water town scenic spots that you think you are living in a Chinese ink painting. Besides the beautiful sceneries, Suzhou owns 22 categories out of the total 24 categories of China's arts and crafts industry. Half of them only exist in Suzhou. I cannot show them all in this video, so I'm just gonna show you the most representative one. The Suzhou Silk Embroidery Okay, the first one is four kinds of silk scarves with handwork embroidery Champagne pink, silver pink, wine red, and the china red The packing is really exquisite Gift bag, brocade box, and the scarf is in the veil bag inside the box The size of the scarf is 155 by 35 square centimeters, made by 100% mulberry silk. The color of the scarf is different on both sides because it has two layers, and the pattern on the scarf is handwork embroidery. Pian, it is the undecided national flower of China. It represents wealth and completeness, peace and prosperity. It is not the 20 box chemical fiber scarf you bought on Amazon. It is 100% animal protein spat out of the silkworm's mouth. This scarf can only be dry cleaned, and you must want to know how to distinguish the real silk from the chemical fiber. Well, the most effective way is to burn it. It will smell like your burning hair because it is animal protein. But you only get one intact scarf and there is no extra material for you to burn. Therefore, we can only distinguish it with some features. First, it is really easy to have wrinkles when you grab it. But the wrinkle will slowly disappear after you make it flat on the table. The chemical fibers are not easy to get wrinkles. But if it does, the wrinkle is not easy to disappear. Second, you will feel like the silk is dragging your hand when you touch it alone. The chemical fibers cannot do that. The luster of silk is soft and even, while the luster of chemical fibers is bright and dazzling. It has a strong reflection of light. Third, it will make a sound called silk singing when you rub two pieces of silk. The chemical fibers cannot do that. Anyway, silk is a pretty common stuff in China, since it has existed for 5,000 years. I cannot even find a specific documentary for you. Suzhou has its own arts and crafts based on silk material, and the most famous one is Suzhou embroidery. Suzhou embroidery is the most famous one of the four famous embroideries in China due to its fineness. There is a pre-process which makes Suzhou embroidery the finest art among all the embroideries. Thread splitting. It is like painters using brushes of different sizes. The embroiderers need threads of different thickness. The finer the silk thread, the more exquisite the embroidery. Now, please allow me to introduce you the four grades of Suzhou embroidery. Usually, the embroiderer will split one spun silk thread into 16 thinner threads, and then use these split threads to embroider. 
The finished patterns are just like the video resolutions. For example, the top grade embroidery only uses 1 to 4 threads out of the 16 thinner threads to embroider, which will take much more time and energy than the high grade embroidery. So is the price. Now I want to introduce you an entry-level embroidery collection, the double-sided fan. It is 6 to 8 threads mid-high grade embroidery, and it is only 20 cm in diameter large. The embroidery method is double-sided embroidery, which means the patterns on both sides of the fan are exactly the same. The color transition is a key factor when you appreciate a Suzhou embroidery. The thinner the silk thread, the more natural the color transition. Therefore, the pattern that can test the embroiderer's skills most are animals. An excellent embroiderer can make the fur or feather really lifelike on the embroidery. As you can see, this peacock pattern is pretty beautiful. The color transition on its tail is pretty natural and the feathers gradually fade away along the tail, which means thinner and thinner threads were applied when the embroiderer made the tail feathers. But when you take a close look at the pattern, you will find it lost in the details like the 720p resolution. As a comparison, let's take a look at a 4K King embroidery. It is called Mantis and the Kitten, a super classic pattern in Suzhou embroidery since it can test the skills of the embroiderer. In this embroidery, the kitten seems to be coming out. The tight and the orderly interpretation of the silk thread perfectly creates the delicate and soft texture of the kitten's hair. At the same time, it gives full play to the bright luster of the silk thread. Embroiderers, the eyes of the kitten to be watery, bright, vivid, and ready to show. This one is even better than the last one. It was presented to Queen Elizabeth as a national gift. The upgraded method is called double-sided embroidery with different colors. It has the same pattern but different colors on both sides. It is pretty common for Suzhou embroidery to be given as a national gift to the leaders. Here is a 1 to 4 threads Tai Chi Koi fish embroidery I just bought. It is the top grade embroidery, but it is only 35 square centimeters large, and the pattern is pretty simple, so the price is cool. Fish is actually another classic pattern in Suzhou embroidery because the luster of the silk thread can reveal the true tone of the scales. Look at this one. The embroidery fish is much prettier than the picture fish. It is pretty good to hang a home decker like this in your living room. The red koi will bring auspiciousness and opportunity to you, and the black koi will urge wealth and solve evil spirits to your house. You can introduce these fun facts and Suzhou embroidery when your friends visit. The only flaw is that this one is really small hanging on the big wall. But money can solve that problem anyway. As you can probably guess, Suzhou embroidery can reinterpret different art forms. Photography, sketch, oil painting, portrait, world famous paintings, etc. The silk thread can make it glow. And among all the masterpieces I saw in the referred documentaries, this one is the most amazing one. Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world. It is embroidered by Shen Shou, who owns the title of the Saint of Embroidery back in the 20th century. She was the founder of simulation slash art embroidery. After her, the sketch embroidery and the western oil painting embroidery started to bloom. After the embroidery, I'd like to introduce you the royal-only silk fabric, Kosu, or say Chinese silk tapestry. It is usually known as one inch of Kosu, one inch of gold, since the extremely complicated weaving process. 
It takes 13 years to make a Kosu dragon rope for the Empress of China. But that is for the Empress. For us, it just takes a few years to make a simple pattern costume, or several months to make a piece of Kosu surface or a purse or leather bag. Even so, the price is higher than the general Suzhou embroidery, and that is why I can't show you a real Kosu product here. Now let me show you the weaving principle of Kosu. Compared with the common brocade, all the secrets lie in the structural difference between the warps and the wefts. This is the organizational structure of brocade, which is usually through warps and through wefts. The weft runs through all the warps. The long weft thread presents the pattern through the weaving within the warp threads. On the contrary, in Kosu, the weft does not always reach the end. According to the contour or color change of the pattern, the weft goes back and forth in a limited region. When the same weft reaches the end of the same color block, it turns around and folds back. This kind of weaving is called through warps and cut wefts. Therefore, the actual weaving process is first set up 1400 warps on a weaving machine in even distance and then manually weave the weft one thread by one thread according to the pattern. It is just like manually setting up every pixel point to form a picture. And be aware that the weaver must use the exact same strength when he is brushing every part of the weft into the warp knot. Otherwise, the whole piece will not be flat. This is a piece of kosu waste when the Kosu inheritor was remaking the dragon rope of the Wanli Emperor. The three months of hard work become a waste because of the slight deviation in some parts. Anyway, Kosu is without a doubt the luxury among all the Chinese fabrics. Although it does not look as delicate and fine as the top braid Suzhou embroidery, it is actually a symbol of identity because it used to be royal only. Alright, these are all the fun stuff that I want to share with you. If you want to learn more about Suzhou embroidery, you can watch the referred documentaries on my channel. There are all English subtitles available. If you like this video, please share it to the friends. I also post these items on my website, on RevelChina.com. If you want to learn more about China, you are more than welcome to check out my website. I'll see you next time.